Welcome back to learning Revit structure. In this lesson, we'll cover opening a Revit structural project. Now, there's a couple types of projects you can open. One that's just solely open by you, or one that's open in a collaborative method. The collaborative method would be one where you have multiple users working on their copy of the project, but that copy synchronizes to a main central copy. That's called collaboration, and we'll discuss that later. The other one is the standalone project, the one you simply open by yourself. For example, the files and projects you're using for this lesson. These are standalone. So how do we go about opening these? If you look at your screen, at the very top, you have a listing of projects. You have four pictorials, and those display the four projects that you previously opened. You can simply click on any one of those, and it would open that project. You can also go and click Open on the left, or you can go to the large R in the upper left, hover over Open, and click Project. This will bring up the project screen. Here you can browse your network, your DVD drive, or any other location to find the file you want to open. For example, in this class, for this lesson, I can go to the C drive, Learning Revit Structure 2015, Chapter 3, and then I can select the file that I want to open. In this case, opening a Revit structure project. And all I have to do now at this point is click Open. It will open the file inside of Revit. Now, if you're running Revit 2015 and you go to open an earlier version file, let's say one that was done in 2014, it'll actually go through a conversion process. A little window will come up saying it's converting to the latest version. If that happens, just let it convert and then it'll eventually open. Once open, you'll have all the commands across the top on the ribbon, the property area on the left, the project browser in the lower left, and all the other functional controls to actually navigate, modify, and add to your Revit project. Once done, you can save or save as. If you want to keep it the same name, I can go to the large R and just click Save. If you want to give it a different name or save it in a different location, go to the large R, Save As, and then Project, here again, you can give it the same name, or I can give it a new name, or I can browse to a new location. For this example here, just click Cancel. So as a review in this lesson, we looked at opening a Revit structure project. We talked about different types of projects, one that's shared in a collaborative environment where you have multiple people working on a copy of a central file that would be served or stored in a central location, and those users synchronize their changes to it. We also talked about the standalone version, similar to what you're using for this lesson. Those are files that are opened individually by a user or a single person. We talked about using the options for opening, the large R to open, or the open on the menu, or the initial screen. Once open, you can navigate and update and modify and add to your Revit project. When saving, you can simply click Save or Save As to give it a new name or new location. 